I mean, what do the people say? People say that Sinwar and his group, they destroyed us. We must get rid of them. If they won't finish the war, then we don't want them after it. This is for sure. This is most people that I met during the two months that I was in Gaza. I didn't see anyone who was a supporter of Sinwar. No one, no one loves Sinwar. There are people in prayer day and night praying that God will save us from Sinwar. That's the talking about Yahya Sinwar, one of the leaders of Hamas. I don't know. Do you believe me or not? Are you talking from the bottom of your heart, from the very bottom of my heart? Is this your opinion or the people's opinion on the street? I heard it both on the street and it's also my personal opinion. What do people talk about in the street? People say that it is Sinwar or Al Qassam Brigade or Hamas, meaning there are people who say Hamas, Sinwar, but in the end they mean this military crew. They say that they are crazy and they destroyed the Gaza Strip, whether they're referring to Sinwar, Hamas or Qassam. I heard this proverb from some, uh, from some old guy when I was in the market buying stuff and everybody agreed with him saying that a mouse attacked a lion is it wise or is the mouse crazy that's it in this analogy the lion is Israel the mouse is uh, you know the Gaza militants what did uh, Hamas accomplish in this war devastation more than 25,000 citizens were killed more than 60% of Gaza was destroyed. Buildings, infrastructure, streets, public facilities, hundreds of mosques and schools and hospitals were all destroyed. The destruction in Gaza is huge. The Gaza Strip went back more than 200 years. These are the achievements of Hamas. The achievements of Hamas are that people have been disappeared to I don't know where. What do people say about Sinwar himself, Yahya Sinwar? Everybody hates him. They hate him. Many people are praying that he will die, that uh, or lo that God will save us from him, because his presence ruined the whole world. He's acting alone. He has he has he's crazy, and he makes the decision without asking anybody else. There are actually a group of crazy people like him around him. They're carrying out his decisions and uh, the Gaza Strip has ruined the result. The entire Middle East is now in a tense situation because of whom? Isn't it because of this crazy guy? In the opinion of the people, what would the solution be? The disappearance of Sinwar. Even if he remains alive, they, they don't want him. Sinwar and his group, not just Sinwar by himself. If he stays alive, nobody would pay attention to him. They would demonstrate against him. This is my uh, prediction. Even if I were in Gaza, I might go out to protest, but I am an old and sick man. If I could, I would go out with them to the protest against Sinwar. What do you know about the personality of Yahya Sinwar? He has megalomania. He, he feels like he is above everyone. This is what one hears about him. He doesn't sit with me personally, but those who do, those who do sit with him complain about the guy because his brain and his thoughts are somewhere else. And they know that he gained the rule and the leadership of Hamas through fraud, through fraudulent means. And who helped with the fraud? His brother in Khan Yunus, people in the north, Fatih Hamad and his group. Why? What are you? What are you writing? Just hang on a second. What is the percentage of damage caused to the military wing? through Israel's operation. I think about 90 or 95%, that would be my prediction because 
I don't have the info, but those who see the destruction in the Gaza Strip say more than 90% or even 95% of people remaining in Gaza, they will be dispersed. Very weak, without capabilities, and they'll wait for an opportunity when the war ends. They'll throw away their weapons and they'll flee. That's what I think is going to happen to the military wing. I'm talking about Al Qassam Brigades, Hamas's military wing. I think they're finished. Is Hamas loyal to the people? In the past it was, when it was far from the government and uh, far from the crazy people. Today I don't regard it as sincere. Hamas, to be honest, as an organization has two sides to it. There is a side preaching to join Islam, those who have no problems. They can be loyal or not, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. The problem remains specifically the military wing, al Qassam Brigades. We talked about infrastructure, yes, that they build tunnels, yes. But is this a fin financing problem or what do you call it? The financing that's coming in, I don't know the source of the funding. If funds come to the government and Hamas took it, then I consider that they stole it from the people. It's supposed to be for projects intended for bettering the civilians in Gaza, but there may be other funding, I don't know, from Iran. They're bringing it in other ways. We know nothing about this. As for financing for projects, according to my information, the Qatari Commission, international institutions. Let, let me ask you this. The funding that reached Hamas, what was it for? The funding that came to Hamas, I'm telling you, two sources. There is a source for projects. This is intended for the people, like the city of Hamas, the streets, the hospitals. This all goes to better in Gaza for the people. This is for service to the people, like the Qatari projects and projects by international aid agencies. But there is also funding that we and you don't see. That is coming from Iran directly to the military wing and it's earmarked only for destruction and terrorism against Israel. It doesn't come for projects, we don't know anything about it. How does it come? How much is it? Where does it go? No idea, no information.